we often talk about graphic novels as a way to, to teach kids, and sometimes all age graphic novels. But we also can't forget that graphic novels are a great medium for kids and young adults and adults to have fun and enjoy themselves as well as learn. This graphic novel is somewhere in between all of those, but it's certainly for mature audiences, definitely those aged high school and up. All talk. It's from Black Panel Press, and it's, uh, it's a graphic novel that I really didn't expect to like because it's very visceral. It's very graphic. Uh, it grabs your attention, doesn't let go until the very end panel, and it's a subject matter that is not germane to my normal interests. It's about gangs, specifically gang culture in Berlin. A uh, graphic novel was originally published in German, had a Kickstarter campaign around it, and is now available in English. The story, though, translates into any language. It centers around Rahim. Rahim's a, a teenage boy who just wants to fit in. He's bored, he's restless lives with his mother. His mother has provided him ample opportunity to get straight, to make the right decisions. But Rahim hangs out with a very sketchy crowd and he's trying to climb his way up the gangster ranks. One bad decision leads to another and his life spirals out of control to where he gets shot, breaks his ankle, and then gets shot in the head. It's, there's nothing cheery about this, but it's a great graphic novel be because of the illustrations. And the illustrations are really magical because they're stark. And the way, Rahim's, the, ra the way Rahim sees himself is dramatically different from the way he is in real life. When he talks about himself, he's like the king of the world. He's in black and white, talking tough, gangster tough. Um, and the scenes are amazing because he sees himself as the king of the world. Yet everybody else sees him as like this this doofus who's just trying to talk tough and act tough and do the wrong things in front of the wrong crowd and he gets called out on it which leads to his eventual death. What's to like about this graphic novel is the lesson and the art and that all art isn't gonna it's not gonna pertain to everybody like the art in this graphic novel is not something that's really up my alley but it's so strong and visceral and eye-catching that you can't not like it it just might not be your cup of tea and I totally get that, that, but the graphic novel, presuming you're in high school or older, is one of those things that's gonna grab your attention and say, read me, and then read me again, just to catch some of the very subtle implications that happen in the non-spoken parts. Uh, it really is worth checking out if you're an older person, not <laughs> say old, old like me, uh, high school and definitely older, because it's got some bad language, it's got some violence, got some drug use, but uh, for you older people, you high school kids are up, who want a mature graphic novel that looks at you unflinchingly in the face and says, this is a part of reality and a part of culture that you have to deal with because it exists, and here's how they deal with it and how what they think about it. Um, it's amazing. Worth checking out if you're an older graphic novel fan. It is all talk.